Do I think you can be Christian and gay? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for popping in here. First and foremost, I just want to say this is a safe and open environment for everyone. Despite different sexualities or ideas, beliefs, theologies, you are all welcome here. I hope that you feel safe and valued and deeply loved. And ultimately, I hope that these videos challenge you and bring you closer towards the Lord. So let's get started. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about myself first, my story, my journey slash testimony, and then we'll dive deeper. I think it gives a better context of why I believe what I believe. Also, this is Simba. Um, she's the love of my life, so she's just going to chill back there and be a perfect little girl. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so when it comes to sexuality, I didn't start questioning myself until I was 19. I want to be very clear that every single person's journey is different. Mine is going to be very different than everyone else's and that's okay and that's how it's supposed to be. We're all unique. We all got different ways and feelings and emotions. So this is just mine and mine only. So please do not take my story as everyone else's or just assume that we're the same because it's not. Um, but yeah, started questioning my sexuality when I was 19. I met this girl who I loved very, very, very deeply, um, but it was a challenge because we both had worked in the church at the time. We both wanted to pursue ministry and be pastors, and our sexuality kind of got in the way of that. So both of our sexualities were very, very hidden. I mean, no one knew. No one knew um, except for the two of us. I mean, maybe people like questioned it or wondered it, but it was never talked about. Um, we were both very insecure about it, both felt dirty, both felt like we were sinners, um, but it's just something that we couldn't like avoid or try to get past, even though we tried and tried and tried. And if your story is anything like mine, you will understand this feeling exactly. Um, but despite this, we both decided to go to school, to Bible college, fun fact, and to pursue ministry. Like I said, like we both want to be pastors, we both love the Lord. Um, but we're both figuring out what it means to explore your sexuality and be a Christian. And at the time, I thought I was going to hell. And for a long time, I did. No lie. No exaggeration. I thought, he's kicking me into the curb. And this is where things get messy in my life. And I'm not going to talk about it in this video. Perhaps I will later on. Um, but I went to Bible college for three years. And in those three years, I continued in the wrestling, went to counseling, went to psychiatrist, developed depression and anxiety, and literally had the worst few years of my life. I just felt so suffocated. I didn't know what to do. I had a lot of people who loved me and a lot of people who tried to guide me along the way. Uh, but there came to a point where last year I just decided I'm just going to be me and whatever that looks like. I heavily i want to really really emphasize this that i heavily 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 studied this topic um i wrote a paper on it i have books and books and books on both ends okay both sides of the spectrum about homosexuality and i studied and i studied it so everything that i say i don't say lightly i don't say ignorantly i am studying and i'm continuing to be open and open and learn um, from the Lord and I want to seek him but this is where I come from and this is my heart in all of this one of my favorite scriptures ever is from Romans 8 37 to 39 and it says no in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for I am convinced Neither life nor death, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And can I add to that? For I'm convinced that neither sexuality or anything else, race, it doesn't matter, will be able to separate us from him. And I think a lot of people have tried to put that wedge in there to say that this is the LGBTQ community and this is God and they do not interact at all. Um, you'll hear parts of my story as I continue on, but I've been kicked out of churches and uh, I have, you know, I have a story and 
I think it's because people have a hard time believing that God deeply, truly loves every single one of his kids and he's there for it. And, you know, when I struggled and when I was on rock bottom on my floor crying and I was like, God, help me out, help me, help me get past this. I just felt the love of the father come and hold me and just tell me that everything is going to be okay and that he's right by my side. You know, in the Garden of Eden, um, Adam and Eve, they sinned and that's where sin entered the world and there's consequences. And, you know, we live in that and we live in the consequence of their actions and we're sinful human beings. And I just think that wrecked a lot of things. But at the end of the day, like the love that a father has for their kids, it's so vast and so wide and we won't be able to understand it. And so at the end of the day, if I think that why wouldn't God love his kids, you know? And so that's where I come from. Like, can you be a Christian and be gay or bisexual? And that's where I say, yeah, because nothing can separate his love for us. And if I am devoted to learning more about my God, the God who died on the cross for my sins, whether I believe that this is a sin or not, or or whatever I'm wrestling with, I believe that he is here for us and he's holding us and he's walking us through this journey that we call life. You know, he was in our position. He was man. Jesus became man and he lived and he dwelt on earth with his kids. And so, yeah, I do believe it. I know that there's some people who truly don't. Um, but through my story, my story doesn't change the way I feel about the Lord. Before I questioned who I was, I was deeply in love with Jesus and I still am. I still listen to my worship music. I'm still in the Word. I'm still studying. And that doesn't diminish my relationship with the Lord. And it should not diminish yours either. Let me just warn you though. Will there be people that will come against you if you say that you can be Christian and LGBTQ? Yeah. Will there be people who won't let you serve in their church because you're bisexual or gay? Yeah. Will there be Christians who send you posts and tell them that they're praying for you and that they hope that the Lord will intervene in some way? Yeah. Will it be discouraging and hard? Yeah. Will some family agree with you? No. Will friends agree with you? No. Is it going to be easy at all? No, it's not. I can't promise you that. But in my experience, it's been the most rewarding thing. And I just feel so much more free in expressing myself and who I am. I feel more close to the Lord. Now that I don't feel that there's a wall there trying to hide who I am or myself. So it's worth it. And I'm here for you. I'm cheering you on. I've been where you're at. Maybe not exactly in your shoes, but you know what I mean. So take heart because guess what? The Lord has already won. He's in control. And if you're on his side, you know, nothing can get in your way. Just keep pursuing the Lord. Keep loving him and just be his light and just love everyone. That's all. So hope this video helps. Um, I know it's like not a very long video or very in-depth video, but to answer the question, can you be bisexual and gay and Christian? Yeah, you can be, and it's okay. Bye. <laughs>